Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh, hi, everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Riot here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Nanmachi Battle Chronicle video. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the sneak peek for Valentine's Ryu. We're going to be checking out her techniques and her special move as they have officially dropped both of them now. Of course, they're still doing the thing where they're dropping the techniques on one day, and then the following day is when the special move drops, which makes it a little bit more annoying and frustrating because we kind of have to delay the whole, you know, video creation process by a whole day so of course it makes it a bit more annoying because well why don't they just do it at once and then the following day they can do the assist and we can talk about them on separate days i don't know i know that the reason why they're doing these sort of like splitting up things is because for engagement purposes but still you could easily do well ryu on one day and then bell on the other day all you need to show off for bell is his assist skill and then we can guess the passive skills or wait till his release for the passive skills anyways rant over mini rant over we're gonna get into her techniques we're gonna check them out we're gonna see what she does of course in this video so of course if you guys go on to enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel for more content and let me know your guys' thoughts on ryu based on what we know so far of course it's gonna be quite interesting to see how she's gonna be designed especially what typing she's going to be because the expectation is that she's most likely going to be yellow or earth because well we were you know having uh you know a bit of a pattern up until now where we've gone you know from type to type to type with every banner or every event and campaign right so with the recent release of artemis and her being purple the expectation is that ryu will probably be earth if you're going in that circle right but I don't think that's going to be the case and that's based on what I've seen already in the videos that they have shown us on Twitter through the sneak peek. So let's take a look and let's see what is in store for us. So before we get into the actual video, let's read the tweet that is uh, obviously accompanying it in the caption. Introducing the techniques of Lady of the Gale Ryu who appears in the new event Sweet Infatuation Operation Valentine's Day. Inflict damage and then use technique 2 to apply a movement speed debuff to the enemy. If the enemy's movement speed is reduced, additional effects will be triggered when using the special move introducing a special move tomorrow so check it out okay so let's take a look at the skill and let's take a look at how it is actually performed and then we'll take a look at what the additional effects are in the uh, uh you know in the um special move once you apply that movement speed debuff so let me bring this up now so that it's actually a little bit better in terms of the uh layout and let's see the video itself. I'm going to mute it because we don't want to listen to Ryu making crazy amounts of noises. So let me start again from the very beginning. Okay, let's see here. So the first skill is a two hit attack, which is actually pretty good because that'll allow us to basically get a bit of an advantage in uh, game modes like event ranking and stuff in, you know, AOE situations that two hit will help you out, especially because it's got a good range there. Let's go back and take a look at it. So it's a forward dash mixed with a uh, circular attack. Again, that's really good because we know how, like, um, you know, centered uh, sort of, like, attacks, the radius attacks are in Danmachi Battle Chronicle. We've seen eyes, both eyes, is, we've seen, uh, you know, even to an extent Artemis as well with her uh, special move, uh, Lily with her uh, assist skill as well. These sort of attacks that have, like, a sort of uh, radius are so good in this game it's pretty much the best abilities in the game in my personal opinion of course the long range straight line attacks as well uh, are really good as well are uh, you know the bell uh, the blue bells uh special move uh artemis's e the second skill that she's got you know and then of course uh along with it the the green eyes special move as well those are really good but i still say that the best moves in this game are the ones with a big radius because it just allows you to get so many more enemies unsuspectingly in all on and in my personal opinion i think that just works a little bit better let me know which one you guys think is a bit stronger i'm curious to see what you guys have to say down below now we take a look at uh move three and why has the why is it just decided to go a little bit dark uh, that was so weird so it's a a, a multi-hit attack they're already incorporating this three hit like three pronged attack in a skill already so of course we know that um artemis has a three attack on her normal attacks of course right i think this is the first time we're seeing it with a skill if i'm not mistaken so that's pretty good and then of course like it says right here um in japanese it reduces movement speed now the question is what does the skill exactly do at higher awakenings because i think a lot of people are probably quite curious to see what that exactly you know entails what what is the um you know uh, additional effects that you get 
at higher awakenings now at the uh, in the first one the first one that we have right here uh it's very basic it's just increases the damage and uh that's about it it's very simple attack i think it's uh, she's going for a more simple route which makes me believe that she's going to be more in line with the likes of a um i think summer eyes aisha sort of unit where um it's very simple as to what she's doing but her modifiers are probably going to be quite high to compensate for the fact that she doesn't have any additional effects it's very possible that that might be the case right so uh, that is a uh, number one increases the uh, damage overall for that first skill the second skill again it's very simple as well it just increases the damage and the effectiveness of skill two, and it extends the duration of that uh, movement speed debuff so again very simple nothing too crazy another thing to note actually while we are here the text is in purple that means that she's most likely a purple unit because if we go back right and i'm gonna go back to uh, some older posts from the team itself right if we go back in time we're gonna have to go back in time quite a bit because of course we've had artemis who's purple as well so no point in checking her out because she we know what her skills are gonna be like and you know we know what her typing is so we don't really need a <laughs> we don't re really need much help from that of course right yeah you can see the text here is purple as well for her special move so Let's keep going down. I need to go find uh, Bell and uh, 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 Bell and Lafia's release. This is gonna take a while because we have to go way back when into like uh, December, I think it is, um, when the event released. I think it released on December twenty sixth or something. So let's go back. Let's keep going back. Let's keep going back. Come on, there it is. So yeah, you can see the text for Bell here is blue. So it does seem like that the next set of units are purple again which is quite interesting because it basically means that we've had two back-to-back -back purple releases and that means that potentially potentially for the half anniversary the next unit is most likely going to be earth now again we don't have really much of a basis to go off of on that just yet purely because well the main reason why we don't have much of a basis to go off of is that they could do something else entirely right and we still don't know if there's going to be a second uh, unit or not okay we're back down to eyes as well and she's got the red text as well if you can very see very lightly over there so keep that in mind is that we are uh, probably going to see this uh, ryu being purple along with the bell assist being purple as well again quite surprising but it also kind of makes some sense as well because artemis hasn't had her time to shine in event in an event ranking so i think that's going to be the case here as well now the question is what sort of uh unit is ryu going to be in terms of the um uh role she's gonna play right because she could easily be a uh dps unit or speed type unit i don't think she's a support unit or tank unit here um if she was a tank unit we'd probably see some shields or something i think she's most likely a speed unit i think she's gonna be a purple speed unit because we've not had a new purple speed unit since uh well bet pretty much right so it makes sense for them to release a new speed unit and the fact that they have a movement speed debuff on this ryu makes me think of another unit that has a movement speed reduction in her kit and she's a speed unit and that is of course mikoto of course we'll take a look at mikoto later on in this video because i want to talk about potentially what modifiers we will see on uh, you know mikoto and stuff and uh, or sorry what modifiers we'll see on ryu based on mikoto so we'll leave that for later we'll go back to the twitter posts and we'll go check out the special move now i want to see how the special move looks so sneak peek introducing the special move of the lady of gale uh, or of lady of the gale ryu who appears in the new event sweet infatuation operation valentine's day deal massive front facing aoe damage and if the enemy is under the effect of reduced movement speed grant a damage increase effect to your own unit now this, they say that grant a damage increase effect to your own unit i wonder if it's something like where you get a damage boost to your entire kit like overall stats and everything get boosted uh, by a certain amount for a certain duration or is it the special move gets boosted that's something that i'm going to be quite curious to see exactly what that means and what is that what that is referring to so let's take a look at the uh special move now let's take a look at the special move right here right now so let's see how it looks here and we'll take a look at the uh skills oh okay okay well, wait, wait 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 i want to see the range here again we saw the range in the in in the um trailer as well but it looks like even though it's a front facing aoe attack it's got quite a bit of range here look at the amount it's spreading here and this is a big guy by the way this is a big guy so 
the fact that it has this much range is very impressive now let's take a look at what the skill is exactly getting or the special move is exactly getting at additional effects and we'll take a read at what the initial text says deals huge damage to the front range and if the enemy is slowed down gives your unit an effect that increases the damage dealt and then of course at awakening one you get an increased damage dealt and effect time increase which makes me believe that it is indeed a situation where your damage will increase overall which makes her a very valuable unit and you want to use her special move consistently i think something like a special move cooldown is probably something we would probably see in the event item purely because i think we will want to get the special move off consistently so that we can increase the damage of her normal skills she's gonna be a unit that's quite similar to i would say probably christmas eyes in that regards i feel but we'll have to wait and see at awakening 5 the damage and the damage increase will be increased basically so very straightforward awakening 5 i think awakening 1 is where you want to primarily go because you want to get that in uh, effect time increase and everything so i think that'll be the main thing you want to get but yeah overall very interesting unit i'm curious to see how she'll actually play in game and of course as a purple speed unit will you really take her over a bet who may already be doing the job for you for the most part it's going to be quite interesting to see and uh figure out of course once we get around to it but let's go over to the game and let's check out what we can uh, see via um mikoro now i think mikoro is going to be our next uh, uh port of call because we have to take a look at what mikoro can do in the game itself with her movement speed reduction now one thing to note is that mikoro's movement speed reduction is on her special move it's not on her skill like how it is for ryu so that is something to keep in mind of course right is that it's going to be quite different in that regards right so if you see right here at awakening five she gets a 60 percent decreased movement speed for uh, to enemy for 10 seconds now i don't think it's going to be that high and not to mention at, at max level it's 99%. No, I don't think that's going to happen. This is only because it's Mikoro and it's also on her special move. If you go over to Awakening 1, you can see at max level, it's 45%. And then at Awakening 0, it's only 15%. Now, I think what's going to happen is that the movement speed reduction is going to be around 10 to 15% at most at Awakening 0. At Awakening 3, you could probably see that jump to like 40%, I feel. I think that's the highest it's going to go. I think we have to keep that in mind is that, well, one, she's not Mikoto, so I think there's going to be that difference for sure. But also, I think that because it's on a skill, it'll naturally be a little bit lower because you can get it off faster and more often, right? So, to me personally, I think it'll make sense if they go down the 10-15% route, just like how it is at max level here, um, at Awakening 0, right? Um a max skill level awakening zero it's 15 percent i think at awakening three it'll be 30 percent is my guess 30 to 35 percent but yeah i think that's going to be the case i just uh, i have a sneaking suspicion that that is going to be the case but yeah let me know what you guys think about ryu i'm quite curious to see what you guys have to say down below we still still don't have the update contents if i'm not mistaken for um the upcoming event they dropped the finn radar banner randomly which okay game sure but we don't have the event update notice yet for what's coming up on wednesday alongside the valentine's event because i expect to see potentially a new raid starting up i expect to see of course part two of the limited time missions for arrow of orion to begin as well because uh we still have to get uh you know the second set as well right we still need to get a second set as well uh because if i'm not mistaken uh here yeah part two also starts this week so it's going to be quite interesting to see exactly what we're going to be getting there we are supposed to get an almighty rainbow bond and some more selas as well from the event as well so yeah it's going to be quite interesting to see exactly what's going to happen in terms of the part two event part two of the event and uh you know what exactly is going to be releasing this week because there seems to be quite a lot we're going to be getting our override part two and the valentine's event and potentially a raid as well so we'll have to wait and see on that front. But yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.